Survivor in the post All-Stars era experimented a lot. Some things worked out and some things did not, but little did we the audience nor the cast of season 11 Survivor Guatemala realize that a seemingly one-off twist would be the catalyst to completely change Survivor forever. No season after Guatemala would ever be a completely social game again. Survival in this game now had a new element the hidden immunity idol. Today's video is sponsored by Outcast Originals. They make quality handmade replica idols that we have all seen on Survivor. And if you use the code once upon, then you get a 25% discount on anything in their store. Once again, use the code once upon for a 25% discount. Links in the description below. If you're wanting to see the complete history of the hidden immunity idol, I do recommend you watch my video about that. There, I spent a couple of minutes on the subject, but today we are going to look at it in far more depth and evaluate what they did right here and what went wrong. How come Survivor only used this version of the idol one time? It all begins in episode 8. The tribes just merged the night before and everyone is expecting the ceremonious feast to take place the next morning. That's typically what happens when a merge takes place. Except that isn't what happens here as a new surprise emerges into the game in place of the feast it seems like that no one has ever seen before. If you're feeling bored around camp or could use some peace of mind in this game, there's a small individual individual immunity idol hidden in the wood. This is in addition to any individual immunity you win at challenges. It is about six inches tall and is made of stone. Why? This just blows everyone's minds. Nothing like this has ever existed in Survivor and the strategy and gameplay opportunities it presents seem to be vast. Prior to it, the only way to be safe from a vote is to win the individual immunity challenge. Other than that, it took complete social gameplay to make it past tribal council. But this brand new idea of looking for something Something so small in a vast forest is too much for some. There's a little immunity idol about this big in a jungle that's this big. It's just gonna be like finding a needle in the haystack. You could be looking for days and days and days for the damn thing and still not find it. We as an audience don't really know anything the players don't know at this point, but after seeing them search and scour, Survivor finally gives us what we've been waiting for as they lead into a commercial break. We come back from that commercial break and the search is still on. They don't know it's in a tree. For them, it could be in a Mayan ruin or buried in the ground. They have no clue. However, what Rafe learns very quickly is that it is definitely not in a hornet's nest. I'm searching for the immunity idol and I reach up and put my hand like in a hornet's nest at the top of this temple. I just gotta touch my hornet. But not everyone is enamored by the idea of the idol and its existence. One player in particular doesn't really care for it at all. In fact, all Stephanie can think about is one thing, food. Who cares about an idol when her stomach is rumbling? I mean, an, an immunity idol, like that's cool and all, but we're like starving, so I'd much rather a feast, but whatever. At Tribal Council, Jeff Probst asks if anyone has the idol and wants to play it, and no one does. As far as we, the audience, know, no one has it in their possession. Okay, before we get to the vote, an immunity idol was hidden at your camp. If anybody has found that and you want to use it, now is the time to present it. So we move on to episode 9, where all of a sudden we hear a motivational story from Gary Hogaboom, who has been pretending to be a landscaper all season, but no one believes him. And he tells us about this one time he was playing in the NFL, and he led a come-from-behind victory against Detroit. In the NFL, we played against Detroit one year, and we were down by 20-some points. I threw for close to 300 yards in one quarter, and we came back and won in the last part of the game. And that's how I'm approaching this game. I'm gonna pull out everything I can to try and, try and get as far as I can. Not to get too caught up in this, but he is fabricating some of the facts in that story. He actually threw for 255 yards and did indeed score three touchdowns in the fourth quarter, but they lost to Detroit in a 26 to 21 final score. Anyways, everyone participates in a reward challenge where Judd wins, and as part of that reward, he gets something very important. One last thing for you and you only, a clue to the hidden immunity idol. The next morning, Judd reads the clue with Stephanie, and they decipher that what it's really saying here is look in the trees and not on the ground. This idol still eludes you. It seems nowhere to be found. It's not buried or concealed, nor directly on the ground. 
could be like in a tree. Now keep in mind that despite everyone knowing that Judd has this clue, no one has asked him to share it with them. Obviously they figure he'll probably keep it for himself so that he can find the idol, but that is not what Judd does at all. Tree mail I got in my pocket, man. That thing is definitely by far on the ground. So to speak, I can't give away too many clues because oh. I'm trying to save my own ass, but it is totally on the ground. A very interesting tactic. They seem to buy it too. Anyways, we learn that Gary is going to be voted out next, and this is a good indication, combined with the partially fabricated story from earlier, that Gary has to find the idol. That's what the story is leading into here. Oh, here he needs to go just because he's head game and everybody's glad. Why does this seem too easy though? Get nervous like something bad was gonna happen. Okay, but how is Gary going to do this? As Judd stated before, the idol is by far definitely on the ground, which is what everyone seemingly believes. And that is what Gary thinks as well, until he catches Judd in the act. I think it's pretty amazing that Judd told everybody the clue that it's on the ground. And uh, I followed him back here and he's looking at the trees. It's pretty interesting. If it's underground, I wonder why he's looking at trees. This leads straight into tribal council. That's right, they don't even show us anything between that and tribal council. And it seems to us that still no one has found this idol despite all that searching and the inspirational story from Gary. Our hopes were lifted up for nothing. That is until it becomes time to vote and Jeff asks, If anybody has found the immunity idol and wants to use it tonight, now's the time to bring it up. Oh my God, Gary. Oh man, good job. Damn. You cannot vote for Jamie, you cannot vote for Gary. It is time to vote. Gary plays the idol and saves himself and subsequently causes Bobby John to get sniped instead. Very nice. This helps propel Gary to actually make it another two episodes before they do vote him out finally. But the crazy part is that we never see him find the idol in the show. Now, if you watch the early show interview with Bobby John, which would have aired the next day, they show the extended clip of Gary finding the idol, which is longer than the one that they eventually do show to everyone at the reunion. So let's take a look at this and see how how Gary found that idol. I've been looking in the Seba tree. Well, lo and behold, I see the idol. This is highly secret. I'm gonna keep it till I need it, which could be tonight. So that is the origin story of the hidden immunity idol. This is the only iteration of the idol that forces you to play it before any votes are cast. And this comes with mostly cons in my opinion. While it saves the person playing it, it just means that any majority lines will simply vote out who else is in the minority. No power flips will happen in the game because of the idol. But what Guatemala did here that was fun was not letting us know that Gary found it until he actually played it. That made for a very fun tribal council. This idea of surprising us with idol finds does return, but it takes quite a long time for it to come back, which won't be for at least another 26 or 27 seasons. Later iterations of the idol include being able to play it after the votes have been cast and read, which causes it to be a super idol and way overpowered. But the version that is still used today has a good balance of risk reward where you play it after the votes have been cast, but before they are read. So people can't change their votes and you have no idea who the votes in the urn are for yet. It is a crazy game changing twist as history has now shown us. So what do you think about the introduction of the hidden immunity idol? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching and if you like the content you see here then please consider supporting me and this channel on Patreon. Your financial support makes this channel possible so thank you and thank you for watching.